Hi there everybody, it's Kendra here. Welcome to today. Um, this video is going to be a little different. I thought I'd kind of take you through vlog style throughout the day as I work on different crafty projects or just kind of show how I fit it in. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I did one of these videos probably about six months ago when I was working full time showing how I kind of snuck in a little bit of knitting and making throughout the day. Right now I am home with my two kids. Um, we're having just a pretty quiet home day and I, I enjoy watching other people just to kind of see how they balance everything. Um, obviously I could spend all day sitting knitting but then house things wouldn't get done. I wouldn't pay attention to my kids. Um, so I really do try to um, just, I don't know, keep a healthy balance of everything. Um, also things are kind of changing because I am pregnant right now and I know once newborn comes along my process and the way I do things will change and I know it will be fun to look back on how things worked right now. So I hope you enjoy this little look into how I make things work. If you'd like to see more of these types of videos please comment down below and let me know. I'm always interested to hear what appeals to you, what you're interested in seeing from me. So I usually have a kid up pretty early, typically in the 5.30 to 6 o'clock range. And typically for that first hour, everyone else is sleeping. I try to keep things pretty quiet. I maybe make a cup of coffee. I sit, I try to knit or sometimes spinning, things like that just for that first hour or so. Typically don't have breakfast until seven, so that gives me a little bit of time. First thing in the morning, um, when we're just kind of having a slow, relaxed morning, kids can play quietly and I can get a few rows in. breakfast and getting things started for the day I do try to get kind of the first round of chores done laundry started dishes started whatever needs to be done for the day This is also a good time if I'm doing like a dyeing project to get things mixed and started because after breakfast my kids are ready to get started maybe in a table activity, something where they're engaged and ready to get going and it buys me a few minutes um, to get something started on my own. So today after getting laundry started I got a loaf of bread started, um, just mixing it and getting it proofing. that I'm ready to block some overalls that I had made. They've been just sitting for a couple days and are ready to be washed and laid flat to dry. Um, they still need the button on the top uh, but I'm gonna block them first and then I will sew that on later on. I really find it's helpful to break down projects into small steps so blocking something is just the one step. The buttons can wait for another day. Weaving in ends is another step and it's just the more you kind of break things down the more manageable working on things seem. almost 10 we've had a pretty busy morning working on different things and so I'm gonna take a few minutes while I'm waiting 
on some things to finish up around the house and I have this fiber. I split it first and I just wound off from the bobbin the first half of it. And this is how it's looking. Um, and so the, it should look uh, pretty much identical to this. So I'm going to get started spinning this up. This is my old wheel here. Um, it's not, doesn't have any kind of markings as to the company or who made it. I picked it up secondhand from someone whose grandma owned it and brought it to Canada um, during World War II. It's got some bumps and bruises. Um, the drive band needed replacing. I'm losing some of these hooks and I might need to refresh this a little bit coming up soon. Um, however, as a very much beginner spinner, it's been a lot of fun to use. Um, and so I'm going to get started and work on my second half of my fiber here. We've got train tracks on the go and some light bright up at the table. So there's lots of fun happening all around the house. Alright, it is now rest time in this house, so I have one sleeping and one looking at books. I am going to take a few minutes. I made a cup of tea that I'm going to drink while I work on my computer. Um, I have a voiceover to record, so when the house is quiet, it's a great time to get into that. So that's first on my agenda, and then tackling this big load of laundry behind is the next part of my day. Now, also at rest time, sometimes I don't get anything productive done and that's a good time to do some like knitting, crafting, that sort of thing. It really depends on the day. I feel like I've been working in the kitchen a lot this morning, so I'm gonna take a break from that this afternoon. Really comes and goes. Also, if I get there, I'm gonna sew the buttons on those overalls. Um, they are pretty much dry now, uh, but I need to locate the buttons first. <laughs> so maybe I will at least get that step done. <laughs> 